is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today i am quite excited we are in the new 2022 acura mdx courtesy of bobby ray hall acura in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so yes the 22s are now making their way to the dealerships that is quite exciting for me at least but anyways wanted to chop in this one today because this has been completely redesigned for the 2022 model year for the mdx my mother actually owns an mdx as well and she loves it it's definitely been perfectly reliable for her so today in this video i will be going over everything about this new 2022 mdx testing out acceleration braking ride quality sound system exhaust clip everything so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 mdx first one being the base trim starting at forty six thousand nine hundred dollars then you have the technology package for fifty one thousand six hundred a spec which is the one we have today going for fifty seven thousand one hundred advanced package for sixty thousand six hundred and fifty and then there is the Type S, which isn't out yet, so I can't give you any of that pricing information, but that one should be coming approximately in the summer of this year, 2021. So having said that, those first two trims, that was pricing for the front wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to add all wheel drive, simply add $2,000. However, for the A-Spec and Advanced package, those do come standard with all wheel drive, so don't add anything to those prices. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the MDX is going to be the same. Powering this beast is a 3.5 liter direct injected v6 putting out 290 horsepower at 6200 rpm 267 pound feet of torque available at 4700 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a 10 speed automatic with some very nice silver paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.1 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 19 city 26 highway for the front wheel drive 19 city 25 on the highway then for the all-wheel drive configuration but either way taking premium unleaded fuel that is the recommended fuel for the mdx but so that before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test in the mdx did want to mention there are several drive modes they will include snow comfort normal sport and individual and so the drive mode button is labeled dynamic mode it is a silver button located just up top of the uh, drive buttons I guess you could say so when you turn that to the left or to the right that is how you're going to be able to adjust those drive modes and what those drive mode adjustments will do is adjust things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the digital gauge cluster as well I'll give you some different colors there and I'll go over the gauge cluster in a little bit it's actually pretty cool also a sportier engine sound if you were to put it in that sport driving mode and it's also going to adjust the all-wheel drive system engagement as well as you can imagine with the snow mode that is going to essentially give you full-time all-wheel drive more or less so Having said all of that now, let's go ahead and find straight away. I want to put the paddle shifters to the test here first. Essentially just testing out how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, here's our straightaway. Here we go. Nice. Yeah. Not bad. There is a slight delay. It's not too bad, though. I will say that for an SUV. Typically with SUVs, you'll find absolutely ridiculously slow paddle shifters. But actually, with the MDX, they're okay. They're okay. They're not the quickest I've ever tested, but they're okay. So I don't mind them. And also, they're also nice to have because we have a ton of snow here in Pennsylvania. You can always just use the paddle shifters to do some engine braking so you're less inclined to slide off a hill perhaps when you're going down a hill rather than actually hitting the brakes. Just use the paddle shifters and that's going to help you out a little bit there too. But now what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and give back full control to the MDX and let's do a quick little acceleration test and let's see if... Uh, see how quickly we can get the new MDX here up to speed. Let's hit it, guys. <laughs> it actually does sound good in sport mode. I can attest to that. That was, that was pretty cool. Definitely more than enough of an acceleration to get you up to speed to merge onto the highway. It's not the quickest SUV I've ever tested, but it is a direct injected V6, so it will definitely get the job done without a doubt. So plenty of an acceleration for the MDX. But to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it's been perfectly fine for me today i know in the past sometimes 
know with the RDX back in the day, it did have a softer braking feel, but actually with the MDX, maybe it's because we have the A-Spec, I don't know. Braking feel is perfectly fine, so no issues there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, of course, front and rear stabilizer bars as well. But Acura actually goes above and beyond with the suspension on the MDX, here is why. Also, adaptive damping suspension for every single trim level across the board. I absolutely love that. I love adaptive damping suspensions. Here's why. What that essentially means is the MDX is going to monitor each shock absorber individually, not only tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, but also it's going to use those sensors to read the roads imperfections and also give you a smoother ride then as well. So it really gives you the best of both worlds. So I absolutely love that Acura put that standard on the MDX. I know my mother's MDX DX doesn't have it so that is pretty darn cool and having said that the ride quality is actually very very good and I do have it in comfort drive mode right now we do actually have some pretty punishing roads here in Pennsylvania but I will say it is absorbing them quite nicely so ride quality is plenty fine in the MDX as far as steering feel goes I will say it is a noticeable difference depending upon what drive mode that you put it in so when I put it in that sport driving mode it did have a noticeably heavier feel which I like that is the steering feel I would prefer so all in all, I would probably put it on the individual mode here just so I could tailor that steering feel to be a bit heavier, but not necessarily the acceleration because you really don't need that instant acceleration at all times in the FDX. But all in all, steering feel is plenty fine. I particularly like it in the sport driving mode. As far as cabin noise goes, that is excellent in the MDX and part of the reason that is excellent in the MDX is because this one does come with an acoustic laminated front windshield and side glass as well you don't always get the side glass so for that reason there is no wind noise coming into the cabin whatsoever even with this insanely large panoramic moonroof that we have here sometimes wind noise comes in through that as well in other vehicles that I've tested there's nothing nothing in here in the MDX so that is pretty darn cool I like that but anyways touching on visibility I can see plenty fine out the back I will say when you have that third row up those headrests are quite beefy so that's going to impede visibility ever so slightly if you don't have a third row passenger just fold it down and it's all good so I did want to mention that and in addition to that rain sensing windshield wipers you're actually going to get them if you go with the technology package and up essentially what that means is when the MDX detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers just like automatic headlights just one last thing you got to worry about there so that's pretty cool also if you were to go with the advanced package you will get a head-up display and that is the only package that you're going to get that head-up display so if you wanted that that's how you're going to get it but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go to the park and let's check out the exterior of our brand new 2022 Acura MDX. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new completely redesigned 2022 Acura MDX. What do you guys think about the design? Let me know in the comment section below. I actually like it. I think it's a lot sportier looking than its predecessor. So for that reason, I'm actually a fan. But let's go ahead and start up front of the MDX here. Gotta say, I'm definitely a fan of the front grille. That Acura logo is probably the biggest manufacturer logo I have seen on any vehicle out there as of now. That is a massive Acura logo. Anyways, it still looks good up there, of course. But to the sides, dual eye LED headlights do come standard for every single trim level. Love that. Automatic feature, of course, coming standard with that, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams, also standard, meaning all you gotta do is set that. And then when it senses a car coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim down those high beams back to low beams. And then when that vehicle is gone, it puts back on the high beams for you. So added visibility at night. And definitely a very nice feature to have. LED daytime running lights, also standard. LED fog lights down below coming with the A-spec and advanced packages only. So therefore, that's what you guys are looking at right now. Also have some air curtains in the front corners there as well. And actually, since we have the A-spec, today there is some a spec specific styling that you will find on this particular trim as opposed to the other package options available for the mdx but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one and so now since we are around the side of the mdx first thing i want to mention is 
roof rails. If you wanted roof rails, that will come only with the advanced package. So I found that kind of interesting, but it's how you're going to get them. Rear privacy glass do come standard across the board. Chrome window surrounds come standard with the exception of the A spec. Therefore, we are going to get black window surrounds because of that little different styling there. We'll find some A spec badging for the A spec trim level found on the front fenders there. I think you guys can see that. When it comes to the side mirrors, they are power adjustable body colored side mirrors for all trims. They will be heated for all trims. LED integrated turd signals as well with the reverse gear tilt down feature then as well so a lot going on with the side mirrors actually then take a look down at the wheel setup 19 by 8.5 inch split five spoke alloys for the base however 20 by 9 inch split five spoke alloys with the technology package in a spec and 20 by 9 inch premium silver 10 spoke alloys then for the advanced so a little different wheel setups dependent upon the trim level that you go with also wanted to mention led door handle lights coming with the advanced package then as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the mdx so but now since we are around back up top you will find that body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with the integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper also led tail lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board love the design of those real tail lights as well it's pretty cool also you're going to find that a spec badging if you go with the a spec trim level s h a w d is super handling all-wheel drive that of course is Acura's all-wheel drive system found in the bottom portion of that tailgate there and then just below it all a very cool looking exhaust setup i gotta admit dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip And so now since we are around back of the MDX, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a power lift gate for every single trim level across the board. There is a button on the key fob itself that is one way. There is also a button on the driver's side door. And of course, there's a button on the lift gate itself as well. But I did want to mention in addition to that, if you were to go with the advanced package, that's also going to give you a hands-free power lift gate if you have your hands full and then it that actually also comes with the walk away close feature meaning if you just simply walk away it's going to automatically close for you which is kind of convenient i kind of like that but anyways once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 16.3 cubic feet behind that third row there is a 50 50 split folding third row by the way so once you folded that down that comes in at 39.1 cubic feet and then with all rows folded it's going to come in at 71.4 cubic feet so Decent amount of space, not as much as some of the competition, but still a decent amount of space back there. But one to mention in the cargo area, it really does have everything you could possibly want back there. You got in-floor storage for every single trim level and a decent amount at that. Not every manufacturer gives you that, so I like that. Also 12 volt power outlet back there. There is grocery bag hooks. There's cargo tie down anchors. There's also LED cargo lighting back there as well. So really just about everything you could possibly want in the cargo area, which is pretty nice. But then making our way to the third row legroom that's going to come in at 29.1 inches which is slightly better than my old Ford Mustang GT which came in at 29 inches so having said that maybe small children can fit back there but it's really not a whole lot of space in the third row at least but then make your way to the second row legroom that is going to come in at 38.5 inches definitely acceptable there again for reference I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the second row. So plenty for me, not to mention one of my favorite parts, technology packaging up is going to give you rear window sunshades, which essentially is going to block the sun from blinding your newborn or your small children in the back seat. And they are tons better than the ones you buy at Walmart aftermarket. So definitely go with the manufacturer rear window sunshades when you have the opportunity like you can get in the MDX here. But Tri-Zone Climate Control is also going to come stand on every single trim level meaning the rear passengers can actually set their own temperatures back there if they wanted to advanced package is also going to give you heated second row seats which is pretty cool we'll also get a 12 volt power outlet back there and two usb charging ports then for those second row passengers as well so they can charge up their tablets in the back so that's always a good thing too second row is definitely where you want to be here in the mdx is plenty fine then make our way up to the front seats 12-way power adjustable driver and passenger seat comes standard you don't always get the power adjustable passenger seat so that is pretty cool 
vehicle. Leatherette finish comes standard, heated front seats come standard. Then when you go to the technology package and up, that's gonna give you perforated leather. A-Spec is going to add to that perforated leather with the suede combination to it. That of course is what you guys are looking at right now. Also with the A-Spec you get heated and ventilated front seats. Then if you were to go with that advanced package, that is going to add in addition to that 16-way power adjustable front seats and that includes power lumbar, power thigh extensions, power side bolsters. That is a good bit of adjustments. But nonetheless, since we have the A-Spec today, I will say these seats are plenty comfortable and you know why because they don't have any horizontal seams i love that so whenever we got vertical seams i feel like the seats are always more comfortable because you don't have any awkward pressure points so that's why i'm a big fan of these mdx seats but nonetheless let's now go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable for every single trim level and not only that it's a fairly quickly power adjustable steering wheel too. A lot of times it's super slow when you use these power adjustable steering wheels, but this one's pretty quick. I like that. Leather wrap steering wheel comes standard on all trim levels. You also get a flat bottom with the A-Spec logo towards the bottom if you were to go with that A-Spec. So like the flat bottom, that's pretty cool. And you will get a heated steering wheel then if you were to go with that advanced package. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup because there's a lot of things I wanna say about this. Let me show you guys the key here first. Definitely a new design. It's a heavier weight to it, so I like that. You do have your Acura logo on the one side, then you got your Acura lettering on the side of the key, and then when you flip it over, I guess it's pretty basic on that side. Just your lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. But of course, it is all keyless entry with a push button start for every single trim level. Then you will actually get a remote start in addition to that if you were to go with the advanced package. So all I'm going to do, simply put my foot in the brake and press that bright red engine start button located just to the left of the climate control vents there and so once started up this is perhaps my favorite part of the new mdx here this is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster which by the way comes standard on every single trim level i love that a lot of times with other luxury manufacturers you only get the digital gauges on the upper trim level so i love that every trim is going to get them because they are awesome here's why you can of course adjust what is on those digital gauges by using the steering wheel mounted controls and it's a pretty common sense setup here so there's steering wheel mounted controls on the left side to adjust the left side of those gauges and then steering wheel mounted controls on the right side to adjust the right side of the gauges. And then of course there is a digital speedometer front and center towards the top there. Little picture of the MDX as well, how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature. Really everything you could possibly want up there. But the best part, like I was alluding to earlier in the video, you guys, when you change the drive mode, it is going to completely adjust the colors up on those gauges. It's gonna make a pretty cool sound when you do that too. You guys probably heard that. Snow driving mode is gonna kind of put it in white, the color of snow, of course. Comfort is gonna put Put you in blue normal is going to put you in gray and sport is going to put you in red all of that makes sense and i love that it changes the complete look of the gauges it's pretty darn cool i love it but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality panoramic moonroof comes standard on all trim levels and actually a good bit comes standard across the board including led interior lighting you do get an auto dimming frameless rear view mirror for all trim levels as well that's pretty cool tri-zone climate control comes standard for all trim levels as well brushed aluminum trim coming with the base trim level of the mdx also if you go with the technology packaging up you will get ambient led lighting with 27 different color options which is pretty darn cool you do get metal pedals with the a spec package love that advanced packages is going to give you some wood trim in lieu of the aluminum trim that we have here there's also a wireless phone charger for every single trim level which my phone is charging right now that is pretty cool homeland controls also found just below the frameless rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors also standard on every single trim level across the board love that there is a cool cabin talk system which i know genesis does too that is going to come with the a spec and advanced packages projecting your voice into the rear seats, that is pretty darn cool. Overall, interior quality is definitely quite nice. I love the red contrast stitching with the black leather found just underneath the infotainment screen. I like the aluminum trim details. Definitely like the speaker covers. We'll test out that sound system in a little bit here. Love all the red leather. It's definitely a very vibrant, very in-your-face color, which I personally love. I don't know. Like the silver accents on even the passenger side glove box handle. They don't need to do that. A lot of manufacturers just leave it as like a matte gray or a matte black, but I love the silver there. Also, the piano black finishes I'm definitely a fan of. However, 
My one constructive criticism for the interior quality is everything around the cup holders and the wireless phone charger. That is a matte gray finish. And I think they probably could have put, if you're going to leave it plastic, at least a nice little design to that plastic. Or maybe bring this aluminum trim that you have up here just below the infotainment screen down there as well. I think that would look pretty good. But anyways, that's my one constructive criticism. But everything else is 100% on point. Overhead sunglass holder. I almost forgot to mention that. So overall, definitely very nice, very, very nice interior quality of the MDX. Then taking a look at the infotainment screen. 12.3 inch infotainment screen to match the 12.3 inch digital gauges. So that's pretty cool. Bluetooth and audio streaming comes standard. Wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay for all trim levels. I emphasize that because there are very few manufacturers doing wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay right now. So I love that Acura put that in the MDX. It's so hard to get that these days, at least as of this video, as of right now. So I love that you don't have any wires dangling everywhere. So well done Acura for that. Factory navigation system coming with technology package and up. Ambient lighting, as I said, you can adjust up there as well. Climate control settings and also your radio information. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are three of them, dependent upon the trim level or package option that you go with. Bass trim is gonna give you nine speakers. Technology package is going to give you a 12 speaker ELS studio sound system. Then the A spec and advanced packages will give you a 16 speaker ELS studio sound system. So. Having said that, you guys, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of our 16-speaker ELS Studio sound system we have here today. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I would say at this point, because I remember playing this sound system in the TLX as well, which is amazing, again, this is my solid number two sound system of every vehicle out there right now, just behind Bowers and Wilkins and Volvo. But this is an absolutely amazing sound system without a doubt. The bass is great, the clarity is amazing. Wonderful sound system. I'd probably say maybe Lexicon with Genesis would be my number three. Mark Levinson with Lexus would be my number four and so on. So. Wow, amazing sound system with the ELS studio there. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the MDX in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard for every single trim level across the board. Surround view camera coming with the advanced package then as well, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You don't always get that with every vehicle out there. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard for every single trim level across the board, a collision mitigation braking system, advanced pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, road departure mitigation system, traffic jam assist traffic sign recognition forward collision warning lane departure warning and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert that is essentially everything you could possibly want coming standard on all trim levels but if you were to go with the technology packaging up you also get front and rear parking sensors in addition to that so really all of the safety comes standard across the board which i absolutely love so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the MDX, the redesign definitely looks good. I'm definitely excited to check out the Type S. If I get that opportunity, that'll be pretty cool. ELS Studio sound system is absolutely amazing. If you love music, definitely go with the advanced package or the A-Spec that is going to give you the best sound systems more or less out there right now. So that is pretty cool. Digital gauges are amazing. I'm glad Acura is finally getting into that category since a lot of other manufacturers are doing that right now too. So I love that. I personally would probably pick the technology package. I feel like that's the best bang for your buck with the MDX. Reason being is you do get 27 colors of ambient lighting. You also get an upgraded ELS studio sound system. It's not the very best one, but it is still ELS. So that is definitely good tons of advanced safety features on this one as well which i love as far as constructive criticism goes i will say for acura 
If you maybe made the MDX a little bit bigger, you would give it a little more third row legroom. It'd be a little more competitive with some of the other competitors in its class. Since this is a three row SUV, overall cargo capacity should come in at right around 84 cubic feet, in my opinion, just kind of like the Honda Pilot, I guess. So I think it would definitely benefit from a little extra size there. And of course you would have the RDX just below that if you wanted a smaller SUV. And also the only other thing I got is just so, so fuel economy, but honestly, who really cares? It's all right. So. Overall, definitely a very solid pick. I really like this one for all those reasons I just mentioned. Let me know what you guys think of the new 2022 MDX in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Feel free to follow me on TikTok if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it hits YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.